Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a Cupertino slider. This is really simple. You just put a child and Cupertino slider, you know, why is it? Basically, a slider that's styled the way iOS devices have it. And you just put a child, Cupertino slider. And we'll deal with all of this in a second. And the value is the default initial value. So let's say if I put this as zero and unchanged, I'm going to put this and do, 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 do. unchanged is that with double. So this is going to be I'll say val for value. And I'm going to print out value. So let's see actually what we get. So this is what we get. So it was you know doing stuff, but it wasn't actually letting me. It's not actually moving and we need to update that ourselves. So what we want to do, ignore this, we want to create a variable. So I'm going to say double, you know, to the slider value equals zero. And this will be the default value. So slider value. And now in here, what we want to do is set state. And we want to set slider value equal to val. And then if we were to save it and reload, we can actually move it. And it prints it out. Okay, so if we go all the way to the end, it should print out one. If we go all the way to the start, it will print out zero. Okay, but as you see, the actual no, increments are, one, it looks smooth, but there's just too many increments. So we can actually modify that. But we can say, Say minimum and max. So let's say for the minimum, I'm going to keep it at zero. I'm happy with that. For under comma, the indentation is a bit off. It's totally off that I'll leave it there for now. If I put a min for zero, I can also put a max, so I'm gonna put a hundred. So now if I was to save it, reload, and if we go back, the max is one hundred. Okay, but it's still you know the jumps are kind of unpredictable. But what we can do is do division. So if I do divisions of ten of I mean ten divisions, that means as you can see, it can only jump 10 times. So it starts at, uh, you know, 100 initially, and it goes to zero. And if I go to the end, as you can see, it is 100. And obviously, you could even do less than that. You could do four divisions. And that provides you with a lot of customization. And apart from that, there really isn't, you know, much more to it than that. I mean, you can change the active color, what I want you to do is experiment with the unchanged gen and the unchange start basically function trigger and that just basically gets called at start and at the end and the active color as well you can modify and depending on what sort of container it's in and its properties will you know, vary the actual size of it and if you ever need to use the value from this somewhere maybe it's the, the volume slider you would use this slider value variable from there and that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video